Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So in this video, we will see how we can uh, install and configure software update uh, point role in SCCM. So a software update point is integrated with uh, WSUS, that is uh, Windows Server Update Service to provide software update to the configuration management client. So if you have decided to deploy update to your client using SCCM, so you must have the software update point role installed on a configuration management server correctly. And uh, I mean, you can follow the steps where we can install. The step would be installing WSUS and uh, installing software update point role. Then uh, we can configure the or we can synchronize software updates and then we can configure the classifications and product to synchronization I mean what are the servers or what are the update types that we require and then we can touch up with the managing settings of software deploy uh, software updates and uh, post that we can also we will try to deploy it in our uh, production environment so uh, Moreover, uh, if you have a hierarchy, I mean, if you are planning to deploy the software update points in your environment, uh, software update point in your environment, and if you have a hierarchy, uh, like you have a CAS primary and secondary site, so in that scenario, you have to install the configuration sub role on CAS first, then on primary, then on secondary, it will come from top to bottom. And uh, if, I mean, me, I mean, uh, you will find that most of the organization don't have CAS so they don't prefer to be have CAS so you can do on a standalone primary site also so that how you can deploy it so without wasting any time let's jump onto the server and try to install the uh, WSUS role first and we'll follow with the uh, software update point installation and configuration we are on the WSUS server so what we will do we will click on start go on uh, server configuration manager and we'll install the uh, WSUS role first let's wait it to be come up let's wait all right uh, let's click on add roles and features we click on next 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 so what we want we want a WSUS role so windows update service role is already there let's go and click on next next so the WSS role is already there let me so we'll click and try to open it if it is opening yeah it's there I don't want it to be happened synchronize update from internet that's fine that's fine let's not do it all right so cm01 is are the so cm01 is the server name for this machine all right so maybe we have uh, installed the uh, WSUS role during the setup of our uh, SCCM when we were installing the SCCM so what we will do now uh, we will go to the SCCM console and we'll start uh, installing the software update point to install the software update point we have to go to administrator then we have to go to the site configuration server and site system role and then we can add the site system role there let's go to administrator site configuration we'll go on site and right click and add role and we'll keep everything as a default because it's a we a single standalone site and we wanted to install the uh, SUP role on this server only on our primary server only let's click on next over here we have to select software update point we click on next by default we will keep uh, now it's now by default it is requesting so what we need we need allow configuration manager to gateway no we don't want anything allow intranet so it's 
it seems fine as of now we will keep the uh, default settings click next over here it is asking for credential for WSOS we don't want to give any credentials as of now and we we'll click on next then uh, software update point let's have it to be downloaded from Microsoft only and if you have a local WSOS install already and if you wanted to point at it from there uh, then you can use WSOS as well because this required internet access so this machine has internet access so it will be able to download it and uh, over here do not create WSOS report events that's fine click next so now this is the enablement we will run on every second day or run it on every seven day that's fine okay alert when the configuration site fail we'll use this in case our WSOS is not able to when the updates are not getting sync we will use this and supersedence behavior yeah that's fine after seven days it will expire the superseded updates we'll go next on this page nothing is required we don't want to remove the uh, absolute update so what we will do we will cl do the cleanup activity manually so I will show you how to uh, perform that activity in in the next video because in the production environment it is not uh, uh, I mean most of the production environment we do not use the decline expired update so we do the uh, WSOS cleanup activity manually so we'll follow the when we will do the activity manually we'll keep it as a default and let's download all approved app all approved updates only click next now this is important what are the updates that you required we required critical update we required feature security service pack update rollback everything let's put it everything definition update we don't need it product what we need we need a windows product let's select windows as of now local product we don't want it we can change it later on also later also so we'll click on next next and finish so now the WSOS or SCUP role is now installed or configured in our SCCM environment now what we can do we can uh, monitor it or before we monitor it I would like to touch up with few of the settings that we wanted to do it so let's go on site system role click software update point should be here now yeah it's here let's go to the property and let's check uh, it's fine I think specific we require here we'll click on properties so sorry we will go on site and we will click on system software update point configuration and now we will have to make the selection of our product so the list is still not available because uh, it might synchronizing the updates so it will take some time let's jump into the logs and let's see if it is let's verify it from the logs if it is started configuring it or not we have to go on here there will be a log called uh, what was the log cup something like software update point su okay these are the SCCM logs sorry we don't we have to go to uh, C program files and then configuration manager we will find logs over here and you will find scup setup log here and if it is installed successfully this is this was installed successfully okay this is good so scup is installed now what we can do uh, let's do one thing let's go on uh, software update and check for update once we click on check for update it will take some of the time sorry 
let's go so we have to go on software update click on software update all software update and synchronize and once this is synchronized uh, we can go on uh, now what it will do it will synchronize the update from Microsoft and these updates will be available into the uh, into our CCM to verify it what we can do we can go into the same place and there will be a log called uh, uh, W uh, sync w sync sync manager uh, so w sync manager this is the log file so this log file will tell you that uh, what are the update that is syncing and how much time it will take to complete the synchronization so it is synchronizing the categories and after that it will start the uh, syncing the updates from the microsoft uh, once this is done we can revisit the uh, software update component properties and we can adjust the things as per our requirement so let's wait for some time to get this sync started and then uh, you will start seeing the those update reflected over here so after a while uh, it has started syncing the update now if you see that so now it has uh, around four 426 items and it has synchronized those categories up to 100% and now you will start seeing the updates that will be visible on SCCM soon now so let's it is started it so soon so soon if I click on software update sorry in SCCM in software update in couple of minutes the updates would be visible it's not available as of now but in the back end you can see it has oh yeah you can see the updates are now visible on SCCM so now in the next video uh, we will try to push the update from the SCCM on few of the test machine and we'll see how it work and we'll see the, the working of uh, the updates in uh, we will see how we can uh, deploy the SCCM update and post that we will also have some of the sessions on troubleshooting updates as well thank you so much for watching this video if you are new please like and subscribe thank you so much